So I'm not able to make an actual YouTube video on this, guys, because I am at my house and I forgot my camera in my apartment. So I'm just going to do this because I want to get it done because I've already started decorating outside. And I'm making a coffin. So these are boxes that we have from our speakers, our um, stereo set we just bought. So we're going to use these to make a nice coffin well I'm going to use it because I want to have a coffin and I want to have a nice big coffin as well so I just looked on YouTube and see how you make them and I saw one person make it fairly easy and simple and that's all I'm looking for simple and easy and now I'm doing it so basically what I just did is took my ruler and I had the these boxes were both the same I just basically cut this one to the length I want it to be I want a pretty big coffin so I left one box, it's regular size, then this box I couldn't have as you guys can see. So I just measured it up basically from all the way around, then I cut it all the way around. That's the piece over there. And then right now what I'm about to do, I have my glue gun getting ready, getting hot for me. I'm finna glue gun these two boxes together so it can stick together as much as possible. And then I'm gonna be moving on to my next steps and I'll be back. Okay, so now that I've finished, I've glue gunned it together and I also taped it around the edges to make sure it stays as tight as possible. Then I flipped it around so that way I can make that side over there and right here, I could be able to cut off the edges over here as well. Which actually is like, I guess it's more, with coffins, the way the actual shape is, it goes in a whole lot more. Cause you would think that you would just be able to just to bend those parts in and then just and then just like you know tape it from there to make it that pointy but it has to actually have a more pointier edge so yeah once i'm back once i'm done cutting it off and doing the next steps i'll be back after that too guys all right now <clears throat> i have the box turned over because i marked out the spots like i said for where i was going to trim it in like those I it is in about six inches from the width of the box that it was originally which is 21 and a half inches so I'll put it in six inches on each side and these are just extras to see how far I wanted it to go and then I hot glued it in the inside and now I'm going to just be cutting off the extra pieces and I'm going to just be hot gluing it to keep everything nice and together basically nice together and then i'll be doing closing this end up with a piece that's left probably one of these pieces if it can fit over it or maybe just using that box and just cutting out a nice size and then i'll be doing the same thing on the other side and it doesn't have to be perfect because you know this is not perfect it is not the neatest it doesn't even look the it doesn't even look like it's the um same width and stuff you know it's kind of cricket looking you can see but it's all right it don't matter we gonna make it work how are we gonna make it work it's only for Halloween and it's not meant to last for forever anyways this is something quick if you have this at your house if you have boxes at your house you can make a smaller versions stay tuned <clears throat> not stay tuned but if you have the smaller versions like I'm showing you guys right now you guys can be able to make these as well smaller Make them however you want to, and then they're good to toss away and no money at all. Just using things that you have already in your house. So, yeah, let's get finished. I've done one side. I've taped it up with some... It's the tape that you use to go around the doors when you're trying to paint and stuff. So, I taped one side already. And now I'm going to do this side. I just cut off... The pieces I need, I measured out where I want it to be, and I glued it, glued it, and now I can just cut off the extra piece right here. And then I've already measured up my piece that's gonna cover for this, so I have it right here. So once I'm done cutting it off, I'm just gonna put this on, tape it all around, and I'll be back. Okay, now that I am done taping it all up, like I said, once again, I'm so sorry for not being able to show this video specifically for YouTube and, you know, have it more in detail because I don't have my camera. 
but I still wanted to show you all how this looked it right now we're gonna be using these small wooden sticks I actually use these for the back of my tombstones that are outside right now to help give them a lot more support so what I'll be using them right now for <clears throat> is to make our uh, casket stand above the ground only reason I wanted to stand above the ground is because I just feel like uh, once it rains and stuff a lot of times this stuff gets damaged pretty quick so I don't want it to get damaged outside so what I'm going to do is just put some put this wooden blocks on it just to make them stand up a little bit a little bit more from off the ground and hopefully it helps it even though I am going to try to still wrap it in plastic <clears throat> but for the bottom at least so it won't be sitting in just soil and stuff for whenever it does rain and then our project would just go to waste basically so yeah well basically this is what I'm gonna be doing I did it over on this side then I'm gonna do it over on that side as well I got these two blocks for that side just to make it stand up and these are actually a little bit more taller than that was so that side would stand up a little bit more which is kind of what I wanted anyways okay <clears throat> okay so now I am done with my tombstone well not tombstone I'm done with my casket my bad this is how it looks it's not bad right so right now I'm just putting on um, just a tablecloth that I had already from last year it's a plain black one and I'm just going to be putting that on here just to cover it up one is plastic so it help goes against the rain if it does rain and it's black so it's perfect and it makes it more simpler for the tombstone to be black instead of doing other stuff I seen one lady actually go to the Dollar Tree and get the um, paper lining that you usually put and like the cabinets for your dishes she got like the wood looking one so you can put that on there to make it like it's actually a wood one but I decided just to do a full black one It's much more simpler it's easier and I have this full tablecloth so what I'm gonna do is just tape this right now and I'm going to just tape it all around the bottom part I'm not too worried about uh, if it gets covered it gets covered um, I wanted to put the legs on there to keep it from being on the ground basically but the legs didn't work out so I took them off because I don't want it to be outside and the wind blows too hard and it knocks it over and it's rolling around on other people's lawn or anything so until I can figure out how I can put the legs on it to make it stand better then I'll just do that later or I'll probably end up just taking some bricks and putting the bricks underneath it so that way it's not directly onto the ground so yeah, that's all I'm going to do right now, and then I'm going to end up buying a cross. I was going to make one out of this wood that I have already, actually, so I may end up still doing that, just making it out the wood and put it on top of here, or I may end up just going to the Dollar Tree and buying one and getting, like, a skull as well and putting a skull on top and maybe getting, like, a fake arm and put it on the side of it. We're going to see once I'm actually done and finished, so...